Hi everyone, so today we're going to look at how to solve a system of linear equation. But this time we're going to look at using direct method. Okay, there are two direct methods where I would like to um, emphasize. This is Gauss elimination and the other one will be using um, LU factorization with maximum column pivoting okay if you look at this approach here both of this approach are called direct approach okay these are called direct approach. So because on your previous class, you have used, solved the system of linear equation using iterative approach. Can you recall it now? The two methods that we learned? Jacobi and Gauss-Seidel. This is called iterative method. Now to solve system of linear equation using direct approach, there are two methods. Gauss elimination and LU factorization with maximum column pivoting. Okay, to, to, if, you, if you recall a system of linear equation that you can solve using um, AX equals to B. Now, um, we can write in an augmented form. Okay, so the augmented form can be written in this form. Okay, so I have a11, A12, A1n, A21, A22, A2n, AM1, AM2, AMN. Okay, and then uh, it's not quite a matrix. Okay, and then this one will be my b1 b2 up to bn okay there you go this is what we call augmented form okay we can write the matrix in this form okay do you remember what is a a is a matrix uh, that you can write based on the variables for x1 x2 x3 now to use gauss elimination There are three process. The first step, write in augmented form. So if you're given a system of equation, you have to write in this form. Okay, so I will put it A slash B. Okay, now the second step is to form, oops, form. Upper triangular matrix. Now, how do you know um, how upper triangular matrix looks like? So, example, we have U. So, I can have U11, one one, U12, one da da da, U1N, and all these are zero. U22, two two, da 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 da. U N N, U two N N. All these are zero. So you have a zero. This is called upper uh, triangular. And then the third step. So the third step will be use back substitution to find. x1, x2, and xn. Okay, so these are the three possible steps that you need to consider. So I can show this by looking straight to example. Okay, let's look at example. Okay. Um, okay, so the example will be, consider this met this example, okay. 
so we have um, a 3 by 3 system of equation x1 plus 2x2 minus 3x3 equals to 1 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equals to 2 negative x1 plus 4x2 plus x3 equals to minus 2 okay so now what we do now we want to solve this using Gauss elimination okay so um First step, write in augmented form. Okay, so what is the augmented form? So I have A, which is 1, 2, minus 1, 2, 1, 4, minus 3, 4, 1. A line here, and this is my B, 1, 2, minus 2. So the augmented form, if you forget, will be in this form. A slash B. Okay. Now the next step will be, we want to form, we want to um, find the upper triangular. Okay. Or what you say, we want to form an upper triangular matrix. How do you do that? So, so what upper triangular matrix look like? So, whatever it is, we must have a value of this, 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 this. And this, the rest will be zero. Okay, I'll put a star here because um, this value will be changed as you do the operation. Okay, so if you look at um, the upper triangular form, we need to make which one zero. Okay, let's start by making A. This is um, this is A21, A31, A32. So we want to make A210. Make A21 equals to zero. So how do you do that? So I would say... So let's call this row 1, row 2, and row 3. So I would say row 2 minus 2 row 1. The operation involved on row 2. Okay, so careful when you write that. So what do you have? Uh, row 2, which is um, this one, minus 2 times row 1. So this minus this will give you zero, right? So the rest remain the same. One, two, minus three, one. This is the first row remain the same. So that's with the third row remain the same. Okay, the changes is now happened to row two. So two minus two times this, we have zero. Two, two, which is two minus this. 2 times this, 2, I mean row 2, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 4, minus 3, okay, and then we have R2, which is 4, minus 2 times 4, minus, minus 6, 3 times 2 is 6, so this is 10. Now, this one will be 2 which is row 2, 2 minus two, 1 times 2, which is 2, which is 0. Okay, that's the first step we made. Pretty good. And the second step now, we want to make sure, we want to make A310. So, if you look at the equation now, let me just label it, row 1, row 2, row 3. To make this one 0, I would say just row 3 plus row 1. Row 3 
plus row 1. Okay, so by saying that, the rest of the row remain the same. So this is remain the same. Write it down first. This is also the same. Now operation involved on row 3. So row 3 plus row 1, 0. Row 3 plus row 1, so we have 6. Row 3 plus row 1, minus 2. This plus this, minus 1. Okay, we are doing really good. Now the last step we want to make the lower, uh, upper triangular, sorry, uh, upper triangular matrix is to make A32 equals to 0. This one, this one, we must make it 0. So, how do you do that? How to make um, that equation 0? Row 3, this one 0. Remember, you cannot say, I cannot say I want to do um, row 3 minus 3 times row 1. Then this, you will have a value back here. Okay, the best way is to do something with row 3 and row 2. So, I would say row 3 plus 2 times row 2. Okay, row 3 plus 2 times row 2. Okay, let's do that. So, I have this remain the same. Row 1 and row 2 remain the same. Okay, this plus this is 0. 6 plus 2 times this, 0. Minus 2 plus 2 times this, 20. Minus 2 plus 20, 18. Minus 1 plus 2 times 0, minus 1. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, this matrix A has been reduced to an upper triangular form. Did you get the idea? Okay. So what we have now, we just have to use the third step will be solving using back substitution. So back substitution here means, okay, for example, this one. What is this? So we have, so using back substitution, I have this equation I can write as x1 x1 plus 2x2 minus 3x3 equals to 1 for this one. Minus 3x2 plus 10x3 equals to 0. And for this one, 18x3 equals to minus 1. So by back substitution, we know that x3 equals to negative 1 over 18. Okay, now putting back into this equation, we have minus 3x2 plus 10 minus 1 over 18 equals to 0. So, I'm pretty sure you can find x2. Okay, so my x2 will be negative 5 over 27. And lastly, substituting my x2 and x3 inside the first equation, I can obtain x1 equals to 65 over 54. Okay, so this is what we call, this method we call Gauss elimination approach. Okay, so this is the first part. Solving a system of linear equation using direct method. On my next video, I'll show you how to solve using LU factoring with maximum column pivoting. That's all for today.